February calendar. Are we on, dear? Okay. Tevet is the tenth of the twelve months in the Jewish calendar, and ten is the number of godly authority. So this is a month where we really need to concentrate our prayers for our leaders, and particularly our president. And I know there are people who don't particularly agree with our president, but that nevertheless, God says that we're to pray for our leaders and those who are in authority so that we can live, live peaceable lives. So I'd really like to, to challenge you this month to pray for our leaders, particularly our commander in chief. The enemy has great strategies this month to pull our leaders away. If you're not aware of this, you will not pray correctly for the leaders God has given us. The enemy knows when you have a good leader that is giving you the right revelation to move forward. And one of the ways that the enemy will try to get, you, get through to you is through your leaders, which is why the Lord says that we're to pray for them. This was a very fateful month in, in, G, in Jewish history. This was the month that Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, attacked Jerusalem and destroyed the first temple. And this is a month that I believe that God is using the spirit of Babylon to attack us. And Babylon really represents a false money system. And when you look at Revelation, you see how the, the nation of Babylon, who was, who was busy doing commerce, is cast down. So this is a month where we need to cast ba the Babylon spirit down and away from us so that God can free up our finances. This is a month of warfare. As I said, Babylon invaded Judah. This month, Babylon will come against you to capture you with confusion. He'll also try to confuse you in your money and how you should use your money. So pray against that spirit. Tevet is associated with the Hebrew letter ayin, which is a picture of an eye. This is a month to let your good eye see. Getting focused is very important for you this month as you war against the evil eye and break the power of evil over your life. Ayan also pictures a spring of well, or well. This is a month and it's time for new life to flow out of you. This is a month to let the rivers of living water come up and flow through you to bless others. The tribe associated with Tevet is the tribe of Dan. Dan represents the, uh, a judge. It's a time to grow up and to mature. This is a time when we are judging those things that are going on around us and allowing God to use us in our intercessory prayer life to judge those things for his kingdom. Pray for a new artistic, artistic and creative expression in worship this month and ask God how to form a rear guard over the past seasons through your praise and worship. Pay attention to the prophetic words over your life so that you don't miss your destiny. Be willing to war when God calls you to. Stand for your inheritance and don't back down. Step on the serpent's head this month. Yeah. Revelation 12 verse 9 says, And so the great dragon was cast out, the serpent of old called the devil and Satan. So this is a month to step on the, on the enemy's head. Tevet is also the shortest month of the year in relationship to light. On the 21st is the winter solstice, which is the shortest period of daylight and the longest period of night. Tevet is about finding your path. It's either getting lighter and lighter or it's growing darker and darker. As I said, shared last week about uh, what the Lord had shared with me, Psalm 19, 119, 105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. How do we find our path of light? As I was praying and going through this this week, uh, this past week, the Lord gave me four words. 19, 2019 is going to be a year of exponential growth. It's going to be an increase and it's become, going to become more and more rapid. 2019 is going to be a year of unlimited favor. 2019 is going to be a year of restored relationships. And 2019 is going to be a year of breakthrough. Those things that you've warred against, worn, warred against for years, God is going to bring breakthrough this year. This is a month to ask a question. Am I on my way up or am I on my way down? 
Is my life growing brighter or is it growing darker? Proverbs 4 verse 18 says, but the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. We've been given a destiny in the Lord. Each and every one of us has a destiny that we have been called to fulfill. We have a call of God on our life. Ephesians 1 verse 11 says, In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you as a prophet to the nations. Our callings were established before we were even born. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And he has a plan to get us to our destiny. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. This has been a year that there's been a lot of struggles in people's lives. There's been a lot of hopelessness going on with the things around us in the world. But this is going to be a year that God brings us that hope that he planned for us from time past. Tevet is a month to bring, review the prophetic words over our lives. It's a month where God will speak to prophetic scribes. And God said to tell you this specifically, but that God is going to bring you revelation this month. And keep your journals at, close at hand because he's going to use you to release prophetic words uh, in this month that, uh, in ways you have not done before. God wants us to pay attention to our words over our lives so that we arrive at our destination. Tevet is the month to take the time to pray through those prophetic words. Tevet is a month where the word of the Lord will come to us. Twice in Ezekiel, God says that in the 10th month, the word of the Lord came to me. I believe that this month, the word of the Lord is going to come to us in a whole new manner, in a new way. Tevet is a month to make sure your emotions are submitted to the Lord. And I, I kept asking the Lord about this. How do I submit my emotions to you, Lord? And he said, by coming to the cross and taking those things that, that your emotions get upset over and bring them to the cross continually. Tevet is a month to commit our life to following God regardless of the costs. It costs the first apostles everything to follow the Lord. This is a month that God is calling us to come to him in a new way to release our, our lives to him for his purposes. Let God lead you onto your path. His word will bring us to that point that we know our paths. I pray that our path be light and that we know the path that he's called us to walk on and that he's given us those words to bring us there because God wants to fulfill his destiny in our life. Now may it be your will, Lord, our God, the God of our fathers, that you renew us for this good month in our Lord, Yeshua, the Messiah. Amen. Thank God for what he's going to do in the month of Tevet. And thank you, Jeff. Thank you.